Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to have a session on nitrogen cycle. In this video, we are going to discuss about the steps involved in nitrogen cycle, nitrogen fixing microbes, nodule formation, leg hemoglobin and nitrogenase enzyme. Nitrogen is the most prevalent element in the living organism and the nitrogen is a constant of amino acid, proteins, hormones, chlorophylls and many vitamins. And this nitrogen exists in the form of two nitrogen atoms joined by a very strong triple covalent bond. So let's look what is nitrogen cycle. As we all know that in nitrogen cycle, the process of conversion of atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia and it is termed as nitrogen fixation. So the process taking place in nitrogen cycles are first one is conversion of atmospheric nitrogen into nitrogen oxides, next is ammonification, next is nitrification and denitrification. This is the overall representation for nitrogen cycle as we can see here the atmospheric nitrogen is converted into nitrogen oxides with the help of several biological nitrogen fixers and also by electrical nitrogen fixers such as lightning, ultraviolet radiation etc which provides energy to convert atmospheric nitrogen into nitrogen oxides and the plant uptake nitrogen in the form of nitrogen oxides and it is uptake by plant and then used by animals and then decomposed forming a decaying biomass. So the organic nitrogen present in the plant biomass as well as animal biomass get converted into ammonia and this process is known as ammonification. So here some of the ammonia get volatilized and re-enter into the atmosphere but most of them converted into nitrate by soil bacteria. So here the ammonia is first oxidized to nitrate and then oxidized to nitrate and this overall process is known as nitrification. So here the nitrate is present in the soil get reduced to do atmospheric nitrogen and this process is known as denitrification. This is the overall process in nitrogen cycle. We know that ammonia is firstly oxidized to nitrite and then to nitrate and this conversion process is helped by various microorganisms. So let's look in the first step ammonia oxidized to nitrate with the help of microorganisms such as nitrosomonas and nitrococcus while in the conversion of nitrite to nitrate it is accomplished with the help of microorganism known as nitrobacter here the overall process is known as nitrification so in the next step here we can see nitrate is reduced to do nitrogen and the conversion step is accomplished with the help of the microorganism known as pseudomonas and theobacillus and this conversion step the nitrate is reduced to do nitrogen and the process is known as denitrification. Next is biological nitrogen fixation. As we all know certain prokaryotic species are capable of fixing nitrogen and the reduction of nitrogen to ammonia by living organism and the process is known as biological nitrogen fixation and this process is accomplished by using nitrogen fixers such as microorganism present in the soil. So this nitrogen fixing microbes can be free living as well as symbiotic and in free living itself it can be either aerobic or anaerobic. So let's look out. The example for free living nitrogen fixing aerobic microbe is Acetobacter and Bicernichia and the example for free living nitrogen fixing anaerobic microbe is Rhodospirulum and Bacillus. Also there is a free living cyanobacteria nitrogen fixers and they are Anabina and Nostoc. 
so let's look what is symbiotic biological nitrogen fixation symbiotic biological nitrogen fixation it is a relationship between the leguminous plant and the bacteria so here the microbe is having a relationship between the root of the several leguminous plants and the most common association with the root is the formation of nodules and this nodules are the small outgrowth on the root so the example for the symbiotic biological nitrogen fixation is rhizobium rhizobium forming the nodule on the root of leguminous plants such as sweet pea garden pea etc whereas frangia forming a nodule on the root of non leguminous plant and also these rhizobium and frangia are free living as well as symbionts and the next one is nodule formation and the nodule formation involve a sequence of multiple interaction between rhizobium bacterium and root of the host plant so let's look out the principal stages taking place in nodule formation so as we can see this is the root hair of the plant and this is the soil here we can see rhizobium get multiply and colonize around the surroundings of the root and these get invade into the epidermal root hair cell so as a result root hair get curls and this bacteria enters into the root hair as a infection threat it produced carrying the bacteria into the cortex of the root where they get initiated to the formation of nodule in the cortex of the root so as a result this differentiated into nitrogen fixing cell thus nodule is formed and this nodule establish a direct vascular connection with the host in order to exchange of nutrients and this nodule contain all the necessary biochemical compounds such as the enzymes nitrogenous as well as like hemoglobin so let's look what is nitrogenase as well as leg hemoglobin as we all know nitrogenase is an enzyme which is a mofe protein and catalyzes the conversion of atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia and this nitrogenase enzyme is highly sensitive to molecular oxygen so that to protect this nitrogen enzyme the nodule contain an oxygen scavenger known as leg hemoglobin so the microbe can live as aerobic condition as well as anaerobic condition so the microbe convert to anaerobic condition when nitrogen fixing event takes place in order to protect the nitrogenase enzyme because the nitrogenase enzyme is very sensitive to molecular oxygen so in order to protect the nitrogenase enzyme these my aerobic microbe convert to anaerobic condition ammonia synthesized by nitrogenase requires a very high input of energy such as 8 atp for each nh3 produced and this energy is obtained from the respiration of the host cell so these all are the important points in nitrogen cycle so thank you for watching this section on nitrogen cycle my next video is about microbes and nitrogen fixation please to watch it and if you like this video please like subscribe and share this video to your friends stay tuned for upcoming uploads